going. Oh. Hi guys, this is Chess Maniac and CMD here, and welcome to another chess video. For those of you who don't know, CMD stands for Chess Maniac's Dad. So, that's not random, it is, it actually means something. Yeah. This is We're going to do a set of five problems right quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Okay, guys, anyway, we had um, a little bit of technical difficulties there. We finished those up, took, taken care of them. So, what jumps out at me, out at me is that the king is open, and you could easily guard the squares around here to keep from castling. You see this pawn? I mean, it, it looks it looks extremely juicy. I mean, like, I don't know if it's an apple or a steak. I can't tell. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I don't know if we should capture him or do something else. Well, I think is that that's not the right move. It's the first move that comes to mind. So let's let's try to look for a better move. Anyway, Wait. Okay, well, anyway, y'all. Um, so I just remembered something. The other day we did a test round with our microphone, and I think it would be a good idea to leave a link to that because it was hilarious. Okay, well, okay, well, so I don't I don't know, Dad. What do you think? There's this so, or for those this? of you who don't know, this is a mixed set of problems, so the the advantage gained by this move may not be super distinct. So I'm gonna go with queen takes is the best move. Queen takes here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then you could somehow get a hold of this bishop and then advance this knight around and then do a My fork. second choice would be the yeah, would the be pawn, the pawn thrust the... there, but I don't see how you Actually, the pawn thrust here wouldn't actually be that bad of a move because they would go like that and then you would capture them and that would be attacking and that would be even faster. So, I'm going to go with that. Okay. You think? That's fine. Let's give it a shot. Oh dang it. That was wrong. Okay, so let's see what the right move was. Click on that. It was knight to d8. I wonder why. So, knight to d8 and then... Yeah, that doesn't make it much sense Hold to on. me. Hold on. Wait, wait a second. Where was he before? Right there. I don't know why you would put a knight back there unless you're planning on rerouting him somehow, but that still... He can't even go anywhere. Oh, I see what the problem is. Look, the, there's a mate threat against the Black King. So this is a mixed set. This, these are mixed problems. I don't know what that means, Daddy. So mixed problems are not always tactical. A lot of times you'll have to find the best defensive move. So, let's see. I don't know why. Daddy, do you understand? I guess if you do look that, at the Look at that rook and queen lined up against your king. If you move back there, it's no longer defending the squares around here so that you can somehow get rid of that pawn. No, look at, the, look at the rook and queen lined yeah, up. Yeah, that's a semi-open file. White rook and white queen. Mm. White rook and right, white queen. Ah. If the queen takes <laughs> there, what is that? I'm a donkey. I cannot believe I didn't see that. So I'm looking at this as oh, it's a, a blitz tactical problem where where you need to look for a you know a mate net or a two pawn advantage at least, but this was a defensive maneuver to defend against the mate. Yeah, I had no idea. Okay, so I guess we'll just go Let's to the next. Let's change the set so we know. Yeah, change set. So how we... oh right yeah, there. change set right there. Okay. So, rook text. What rook? Hold on, I, I I missed that. Rook text bishop. Okay, that's a very bad move. <laughs> that, that's. I don't think that's a bad that's move. That's glaringly obvious. Look. Yeah. Oh, you're saying that the rook takes was a bad move. Yeah. Yeah, I I agree. That was probably a bad move. You just got to be careful because you got a a mate threat. Look, mate threat where? look at the white bishop. Uh, so you go, mean... ahead, go ahead and take the rook, I think, is the right move. I, I am pretty sure. Yep. Now you got a mate threat on g8. Yeah, g8. For those of you who don't know, which is probably... You know what? I'm not even going to say that. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Here, book on g2, queen, and queen down here. g no, queen down to g7. Queen g8 would get captured. Either he captured, you would just go like that. So that 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 doesn't quite nail it. 
Right, so you want to leave the rook there. That's a... Maybe you could capture like that. That's the first thing that jumped out at me. Because if he captures like that, then it's no longer a thread. The pressure's off, so I don't think he would like to do that very much. Uh, yeah, I think that's the right move. Okay, so, yeah, my sister just busted in, like, the Kool-Aid man. Okay, that was just, um, that was just a slight problem. We're back to normal now, so... So what, what do you, what squares do you have to defend? Um, what squares do we have to defend? Mm-hmm. The ones around here, so that's E8, E7, and then F8, F7, all these squares back here. Okay, so what squares are, are, can they get to? Who, the queen and the rook? They can get to here, that's mate. Mm-hmm. They cannot get to anywhere around here, but So that's... if the if the queen lands on, on G eight, what is that? Is if that the mate? Queen man lands on G eight, G eight is uh No, that's a bad move. That's a bad move for them, ahead. right? That just loses their queen, right? Yeah. So it's G seven that's the threat, right? How do you defend G seven? Now that you've taken the material, how do you how do you defend G seven and, and hang on? G seven. G seven is uh well if I go there, then I'll go down here. So that totally takes away the point of Yeah, that that's just defeats the purpose of trying to defend to begin with. That just So you need to game. defend that square with another piece. That rook is busy defending G eight. And it needs so... to stay there, right? And you can't move your king, right? Yeah, or you can move your pawn forward. I mean, that defends laterally, right? That you yeah, move your pawn forward. That defends to the queen. Probably going, ah ha ha ha! I checkmate you. So if you move that, so if you move that pawn forward, then what? If you move that pawn forward, then there won't be a bloodbath. I mean, like, I don't think it's time for uh, white to take a shower, especially in something like organic goo. <laughs> okay, never mind. So. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if the microphone so quite you, you heard could, that correctly, could, but I was laughing. But you could put your you could put your queen on what is f6, but that would be a bad idea, right? Because your queen would just get taken by that pawn. And let me at least so what you do. <laughs> so what you do, right, is you you bump that pawn up from yeah. f7 to g to you think that's right? f6. I. What do you think? Of course, I think that's right. Okay, we'll play that move. What? Okay, play it and see what happens. So go Let's back. play it. No. Back. Okay, so. No, the don't. Capture. There. Okay. Oh. That's what I thought at first. I was like, just run away. All right, everybody. Well, I know I said we were going to do five, but um, I've had enough, and I think uh, Chess Maniac here has had enough as well. So we're going to call it a day. That, as far as success rate goes, was pretty much an epic fail. So, uh, thank you for tuning in and hope you got something out of it. Okay, we'll see you next time, y'all.